Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video, a brand new month, a brand new year. It is a fresh start and I'm bringing to this video to you guys today to do exactly that. Have a bit of a fresh start, a bit of a reset day, a bit of an organized, bit of a clean. We need to take down all the decorations. We need to talk about plans and goals for the upcoming months. I also wanted to mention at the very start of today's video a discount code that I have for you with my vitamins. So I know at the start of the new year, it can be very much like crazy diets, exercise routines that are just so extreme compared to what you're used to that you end up then giving up and it not being sustainable. So I think it's important to kind of reframe your mind to healthy habits to adopt. And I feel like we're taking vitamins every day. It's a really easy way to just kickstart the new year with a new healthy habit. And I have a couple here to share with you along with an amazing offer for, um, I think their current offer is up to 65% off in their sale. But with my code Freya, you will get an additional 5% off that. So you can get a really good saving. I'll leave a link to them below. And the ones that I just wanted to mention for today, I do take an array of supplements and especially the gummies are my favorite because they're literally just having like sweets. Um, but they have these new multi vitamin vegan gummies in the lemon flavor. So if you're doing veganuary, that's a good one to have. They do have the other ones, the strawberry flavors. You can get these like smaller packs just to test and try out. Um, another one which I love is the hair, skin and nails gummies with added zinc to support your hair, skin and nails. This is the strawberry flavor. As you can see, I'm nearly out. So I need to get a stock up. I will be using my code myself to stock up on those. And then also some ashwagandha gummies, which they do, I've had in the past like in tablet form, but the gummies are just, again, so much easier to take if you struggle taking tablets. And honestly, they just feel like a nice yummy sweet treat to start your day with. So they are some of the ones that I wanted to mention as good ones to incorporate straight off the bat if you want to get into taking more vitamins daily but definitely check out all the different products if you don't know ashwagandha by the way i like to use ashwagandha for the it's like a root extract of a flower or something like that i don't know the in-depth of what it is, but it helps to relax, ease stresses and anxieties, which I tend to get quite a lot. So yeah, I like to take my daily intake of ashwagandha and again, alongside some other bits, but those are the three that I wanted to mention today. Check them out via the link and use my discount code Freya for that added 5% off there already amazing savings to be had throughout January. So if you're wanting to prepare better for um, morning rises, early morning rises, healthier habits before going to bed, for better sleep or even better energy levels throughout the rest of the day, I would, yeah, recommend taking vitamins and supplements that I have been doing already. But if you haven't, I feel like New Year is a fresh new start to be able to start doing that. With the rest of today's video, like I said, I've got quite a bit of organizing cleaning to do. I've got a tip run to do. I've got some cardboard to take. Um, I want to take down all of the decorations, give the house a bit of a tidy, a bit of a spruce up. I'm actually eager. I'm that sort of person that likes to get decorations up nice and early, but then is also equally as eager to take them down after Christmas. So I've left it a little bit longer today, today, this year, purely because we were hosting for New Year's Eve. And I just felt like normally they'd be down by that point, but I felt like because we were hosting, it was quite nice to just have those festive touches still to kind of see off 2023 in a real festive way. But yeah, now it's the new year. Now I am raring to go, get ready to get these decorations down. So let's do some cleaning, organizing and decluttering together. Just come upstairs quickly. Look at that pile of stuff there, honestly. Wardrobe clear outs, shoes, pals of stuff everywhere. Can't wait to get this house in order. But yeah, I've just come upstairs to grab a bubble because I don't know about anyone else, but if I'm getting stuff done, the hair, it's got to be up. It's got to be up and off the face. Um, and yeah, so I'm just throwing it up. I need to get my roots done, which I'm getting, I'm actually not getting done until the end of the month. So yeah, going to be a bit of a, Blonde, blue, brunette, and and blonde. Although I am naturally blonde, but obviously just like darker. It just gets darker as it gets older, doesn't it? Anyway, um, as I came upstairs, I remembered I had these. So before we kept kick started with the taking the down the decorations, I thought I'd kind of start the year with 
one of these um, little cards from Roxy Nafusi. This is the mantras set where you get a deck of cards. But yeah, I've got a few things like this because I am all over this. Like fresh new start, new month. I've got like new journals. I've got one on order that I ordered from TikTok shop last night. And yeah, loads of like stuff like this is just, I just love it. So I thought we would start with just selecting one of the cards these green ones are just the instructions but i'll kind of fan them out and just go with whichever one i'm drawn to and that will be our kind of mantra for january or for the day let's see what it says i embrace my uniqueness because that is my essence i feel like that could be a whole year one 2024 i embrace my uniqueness because that is my essence we are all individuals for a reason, it would be boring if we were all the same. Also, I've got downstairs like a 52 deck. I'll show it to you later, actually. Whereby there's 52 different kind of like weekly goals to help declutter and organize your life. With it being January, with it being that sort of time of the year, I feel like that's a good buy. But I'll show you that later and see what week one is. Um, but also, I thought at the start of, as I like to do it every month, I like to do like a kind of introduction video like this, like, hello, January, hello, 2024, hello, February, March, whatever. And I like to either include some monthly favourites in there. I've not really got any favourites today because obviously it's been December, it's been Christmas. I did think I would start the kind of hello monthly tradition of maybe doing a monthly checklist. So I had five minutes last night just spent on my phone just... um thinking of a few things that I would like to do in January. I thought maybe some of you might want to do the same. I'm starting this January's checklist, this month's checklist with number one, plan a spring getaway. So we're thinking maybe March time of going somewhere. I'm not sure yet. We've talked about maybe New York, maybe Paris. It is Tom's birthday month as well. So we thought we could get away and go somewhere. So we need to get that planned this month. Number two, it's like a kind of box standard for those of you that enjoy doing vision boards. It's the month to do so. I'm gonna do it on Pinterest. I already have one anywhere. I think it's private, but um, I'm gonna just kind of add to that vision board and also have a bit of a reflect upon the vision board that I had created this time last year. I actually had a question. I think it was on TikTok. Was it a TikTok? I can't remember, but I, it was quite a nice reflective question. And it was, what would your January 2023 you be shocked to hear about your December 2023 you? So essentially, this time last year, that version of you, what would they sh be shocked to hear today so like what's happened have a bit of a reflect on what you've achieved i think for me um what would i say maybe that i have stopped therapy because this time last year i just recently started and i thought i would continue it forever but that's that stopped i stopped my therapy around before autumn or around autumn time however having said that it's not because i don't like it don't want to ever do it again I just thought from those sessions I kind of gained what I'd gained and I wasn't really gaining any more. So I thought about maybe a friend of mine recommended a kind of Reiki practitioner type spiritual life coach. So I might book in to see her just as like a one-off. She she does one-off sessions as well. It's not something you have to have every week. It can be something you can just drop in and out of. You can have it regular if you want, but I was really intrigued by that. I've never tried Reiki before and it's it's more than just Reiki though. It's a whole life coach session that includes that. And also actually another friend just a couple of days ago, I was talking to her about and she's very local to me and she was saying how she had a massage and she'd never tried Reiki or anything before. But at the end of the session, the um, masseuse would, was saying how did you did any colours come to you? And she was like, actually, yeah. And then sort of went into what color she saw and why and, and the whole thing that she was saying that while she was doing the massage, she was also practicing some Reiki on her and cleansing her. And if you're into that kind of thing, you get it. If you want to try it like me, you get it. If for you, it's like way over your head and just something you're not interested in, then that also is just like, you just want to block your ears and say, oh, 
move on move on so i will do but um yeah that's something that i'm thinking about trying let me know if you guys have yourself um so that's not even on my checklist that's on maybe a new year's resolution but hi gorgeous boy hello um i also as well as making a vision board and planning a spring getaway i've added make a 2024 reading list so i was going to ask for any recommendations of good books to read loved verity is that nice is that nice um i've got a couple on my list one that i'm currently reading i want to finish obviously it's the britney spears um why can't i think autobiography her recent book i also want to read manifest dive deeper the second roxy nafusi book i also want to read oh yeah i've got the um i've had it for ages and i've not picked it up yet but 101 essays is it called it's like a white book and again you can kind of just dip in and out of it and just pick and choose which essay to read but like um kind of an eye-opening type book but yeah i want some more fictional books so any good kind of like thrillers like verity was from colleen hoover or anything along those lines i love but even outside of that i when i used to be in a book club and when we used to live back where we used to live i was part of a book club where we would meet every month over food and wine talk about books and it was it kind of like forced me to read books that i would never ordinarily think to pick up so yeah any recommendations across any fact fiction any genre let me know maybe like the best book that you read this last year 2023 and i will add it to my list add the most popular ones to that list and maybe share that list with you guys if you also want to know um and then a couple of smaller things get more greens in make homemade soup and have a puzzle night because i kind of skipped my puzzling over christmas which is one of my favorite things to do thank you and i missed it so i thought i'm gonna book in time to just have a puzzle night get a puzzle going and i've got my puzzle table so i can pop it away and keep it nice and neat and organized i've also got my lego house as well my home alone one which i might actually build at christmas next well this year um because it's kind of like a fun festive decoration that we can do maybe near the time but we'll see we will see but yeah anyway i'm procrastinating now I'm having a good old chin wag with you and a cuddle with this one. Oh, he's so cute and um i think it's time to take the decorations down now this is really enjoying this chin scratch oh yes <laughs> right let's get cleaning let's get cleaning Mwah. get this house in order which i'm actually really looking forward to <laughs> bit of a cleanse both spiritually reiki and with the house as well i would be up waiting for you if you had to leave i would wait a lifetime if you were at sea i just want to say This is definitely one thing that we've been left with after Christmas. <laughs> Quite the selection of chocolates. So what I'm gonna do is just keep them in this bowl here and keep them out for like when we have people over. I always like having some chocolates. 
Um, but the Christmas tree ones that I've also got in the glass jar, let me go get it. We have plenty left over in this one. So I'm just gonna decant all of these in. So we've got all the chocolates in this bowl and then I can actually give this a clean and pop this away in storage and just have that out for now. So we've still got a touch of Christmas left over in this room. But to be honest with you, I know a lot of people do like really healthy, oh, there's a few left in this jar, really healthy kind of clean eating in January because it's my birthday in January. Or they do dry January. Um, but yeah, because it's my birthday in January, I'm always quite easy on myself. And then I never go like full force diet or anything like that. I just take it easy, be kind to myself, still have the odd treats here and there, maybe just kind of like spread them out rather than just trying to finish everything so we've got no chocolate in the house. I just, I don't really crave it that much because it's been after Christmas. I just have like one or two here and there after lunch, after dinner. So I'm okay with having some chocolates out. I'm okay with that. I don't really drink either, so I kind of naturally do dry January anyway. I do a dry year because I don't drink that much. Although, having said that, it's probably the most I've drunk in a long time over, especially New Year's. Christmas, I had a couple of drinks, a couple of like toasts to Christmas with the champagne and on New Year's, but New Year's, because we had friends over, everyone was making cocktails. Well, I say everyone. The boys were making cocktails for the girls. And yeah, we had margaritas, espresso martinis, never tried one of them before, so that was the first time I've had one of them. Um, mojitos, yeah. I mean, I probably didn't drink loads compared to a lot of people, but I had like a bit of everything, and um, yeah. So I'm actually quite happy to just go back to my usual ways of uh, good old Diet Coke. It's about the most fun I get when it comes to drink. Anyway, we need to somehow get the tree out. I think there's a collection here soon, so we might pop it out the back for now and then just drag it around the front when they come and collect it. I need to bring some more clear boxes up. Oh, I'll show you these actually. I've only shown you on Instagram, but I'll leave them linked. Loads of you, when I linked them on Instagram, loved them. Like, you've been going crazy for these. So I'll leave them linked here as well. We'll keep these out all year. It's not just a festive thing. But these antique breasts looking, rechargeable, portable lamps have been perfect for... We've had them on the dining table whilst eating. They're so affordable as well. At the time of filming this, they're on sale. So hopefully they'll still be on sale. I've got two of them. And just super simple to charge. They've actually got... I'll show you. I just have it on this warm white, but you can do a cool light and then neutral. You can hold it down and it dims it all the way down. Can you see? So that's still on and then brighten it up. So yeah, it's honestly, these have been a lifesaver. I loved having those. Um, anyway, back to it, I think. to just find on the tree. I forgot to put these on here. Hotel Chocolat. <gasps> Little chocolates. I've got a few of these on the tree, so we'll have those in a bit. Christmified on this bookcase. Definitely just made up a wild right there. Um, I feel like, oh, it's really hard to film in here because the light, because it's black. The camera does not like the black room. But anyway, I feel like at some point in the new year, once we've fully cleaned up and everything, maybe had a couple of weeks of no decorations, no nothing, on the shelves, I'm going to have a rejig, reorganise, and actually maybe re shimmy the shelves, have a bit of a um styling session i was going to take down like these two books for instance i usually use for decoration like 
festive time of the year, but we've got that many spaces to fill with books. I thought I would keep them in here anyway. Oh, nearly dropped them. See that how they're kind of like old aged antique looking and even just have them like that or even have some books that way so you can just see the pages. That's where we're at so far. We've still got the bean bags in here because we had them out for Christmas just to, so that we have plenty of places for people to sit. But now that it's over, I feel like what we might do is get rid of the beans, put these bags in storage, and then we can repurchase beans if we want to use them again in the future. Because I think for the majority of the time, we're probably not gonna have them and they're that big. That obviously, they were great serving a purpose for down in the cinema room when we had it as a cinema room. But now that we've got the sofa bed in there, we use it, the sofa bed, if we need to. Um, and there's no space for bean bags anymore, so. Either that or we sell them. Yeah, so they've served a great purpose for once we've needed them. But for now, and for this year, my plan then here is to have maybe kind of like a reading nook, a little coffee table, armchair, that kind of thing. So these need to go. I'm also unsure what to do with my piano because I've been keeping it this whole time and then I realised I don't know where the plug is for it. So I can't actually play it. Plus, right there where it is, there's no socket, so you'd have to be able to see the wires plug in, which is fine. But I'm also thinking, do I sell the piano as well? We've got all of this to come this year. Lots of like housey content, rearranging, organizing, styling, all of that kind of stuff. But for now, let's just focus on getting these decorations put away. Still got quite a few to do. I'll show you as well whilst I'm in here. Here we go, this is the deck that I was talking about from Beautifully Organised. The, again, I'll leave this linked for you, but a home organisation deck creates a beautiful and functional home with these easy to follow steps. So as you can tell, it's like each week there's a different card. So this week, week one is titled Beautifully Organised, Transform Your Home First Impressions, um, Organisation Tips and Tricks. On the reverse, you've got Declutter, which is kind of what we're tackling today. Even more so, I think, once the decorations are down there, I'll be able to declutter some more bits. So we're gonna start this 52 week journey with the first area you see when you walk into your house, the entryway. Opt to hide your keys behind a framed tabletop picture. That's a good idea. So on the back of like a photo frame, you can have little hooks and they're hidden behind there, especially if you want for security to not have your keys right by the entryway. Right, so I have decided to have a bit of a pit stop, a bit of a break. I've just realized there's some stars up there that still need to come down. Oh, and the nutcracker. Okay, there's still quite a bit to, to take down, but in between taking down the decorations, I thought I'd sit down with you. I've got this, which I've shown you before. I got it from Sainsbury's. It's like a letter making kit, super cute. Love that kind of textured paper. Comes with the pen as well. And I've made myself a coffee. Still fresh and hot. Got myself my little hotel chocolate chocolate and also one of the tree decorations. Took down all the tree decorations and found a few leftover chocolate decorations. So my past self is very thankful for that. Um, and I'm gonna have those whilst writing myself a letter. This is like a bit of a trend that I saw on TikTok. It's not my idea, I wish it was, because it's so cute, I love it. I'm gonna write myself a letter, put it away in an envelope with 40 pound cash and we're gonna put it away with the decorations so that when we get them out next year we've got some takeaway money and I've got my letter to read myself because when I was saying to you earlier about doing um, like a bit of a reflective exercise of thinking what your um, January 2023 self would be surprised to hear from your December 2023 self, I thought it would be quite a nice idea to throw a letter in there too and then I can get it out you know with things that i want to achieve this year and a bit of a reflection and just a bit of yeah i just think it's a cute idea so that's what i'm going to do for the time being i might even the day is getting away with me i might even after doing this um maybe clean tomorrow we'll see I forget how long it takes putting decorations away and sorting out i think it's taking extra long because i'm actually off camera spending a lot of time 
going through each individual thing thinking have i used this this year has it been out have i enjoyed it if not i'm going to donate it because i want a bit of a clear out of the storage room downstairs so that's why i've been taking my time doing it so yeah i might end up having to do a bit more of the cleaning part tomorrow which is fine and it's definitely not too late to do this you don't obviously have to put them um put the letter away with your decorations because i'm sure most of you have probably already got them down by now but to just write yourself a letter i've done it before just randomly in the middle of the year and to kind of, i still haven't opened that one there's one that i wrote must have been five years ago and i kind of want to open it in 20 years do you know what i mean just i've, I've lost it i knew I, I would put it somewhere where it's somewhere within somewhere so that i'll just come across it one day I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you we do this every day and i'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight through the night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two It is always the way with a real tree, isn't it? It is looking a little untidy here But apart from that, we have a very bare looking tree in the kitchen I'm going to get Tom to help me carry it out when he gets home Aside from the chocolates, the shelves are looking very bad. Everything boxed up here, ready to go back down into the basement. I have a bag of donations to take to charity shop. Aside from the star on the top, which I've just noticed, I have taken everything off the tree, put all those bits away, the bells that were on the lights. I have kept out these candles because I will get them burning. This one's the kindling one from Dalesford Farm and this is the white comedy fireside which we have burnt a bit of so i'm going to get that burning and um, finish that for this season but yeah tree's ready to come down tree skirt off everything is ready for basically tom's help when he gets home it's looking very bare in here i'm actually excited to get going with buying some more furniture for this room once that tree's gone obviously we're not going to have anything there so maybe move this chair back although i do quite like the chair there i'm going to have decided to keep out any kind of seasonal kitchenware bits i have more bits in this cupboard for autumn and winter so i'm just going to arrange them um reorganize all of these bits because it's looking chaotic i'll show you this is like reality we have all of autumn and christmas up here and then a couple of things we've Never got around to using those crackers, which is annoying. So I'll save those for next year. But yeah, I'm going to have a clear out and organise and actually put things away, hopefully a bit better stacked. And hopefully just on the top two shelves, because they're the hardest ones to reach, so that it will free up this shelf for, um, for like other bits that we use on a more regular basis. Otherwise, yeah, everything else is as it was. Taking down some... Um, seasonal books and decor and bells and stuff that I had on here as well. We do still have a few seasonal toys left. Tom, Tom's, Barney's toy basket is very much overloaded. Oh, did you hear me talking about you? Um, with all of his like Christmassy toys and stuff, but I'm kind of trying to keep these ones at the top so he plays with them until he destroys them, which he's already let the arms nearly come off that one. Um, a couple of others haven't made it either so that the other toys can go back in his basket for the rest of the year I like this one my mum and dad got him this because it's not too Christmassy so we'll be able to keep that for the rest of the year as well but anyway are we all done oh you're all nice and warm and cosy it's absolutely chucking it down if I'm honest with you it's been the perfect day can you hear it I'm not sure if you can but it has been raining all day apart from this morning's walk we luckily timed it where it wasn't raining but yeah this rain has meant that today has probably been the best day to be doing this kind of a um 
taking down the decorations today. So just jumping in here at the end of today's video, thanking you very kindly for watching and also giving you a friendly reminder to check out my vitamins via the link that I will leave in my description box. Check out my faves along with using that discount code Freya, which will get you an additional 5% off already amazing sales that they have on their website. You can literally save up to 70% with that code. So amazing, amazing time to be thinking about it with it being the new year the new start thank you to each and every one of you for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it thumbs up if you did subscribe for more and i will hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys